let's get to your uh your former head coach Lamar. Oh, your form, your former offensive coordinator, um, hey. Eric Bieniemy, out there with, with the Washington Commanders, man, and, and and drawing a little bit of attention, almost in a negative light, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I I'll play for you. Uh, uh, what he said at his press conference when he was asked about him being too intense with his players and some of the players complaining about it. Uh, he was asked about that. Uh, this this what he said. Hi, um, have there have there been instances where players have um. I guess struggle to adapt to your coaching style and have come up to you and had a conversation about it. So before it even goes anywhere, I make it a point to address the conversation because one thing, my job is to be a very observant. I, I got to know the people that I'm discussing and, and, uh, and working with. So my job is to address. If there's something that they may have an issue with. Please let's discuss this. Here's the reason why I felt a certain way. Here's why I said it. Now, okay, I put it back on the player. And you got to understand, we're in a grown man's business. We're in a grown man's world. My job is to make sure that I'm doing the best possible job of over-communicating clarity. I take a tremendous amount of pride in that. They also know when I'm getting on them, ain't nothing personal. What's personal is that I want us to win. I expect that particular player to be great at all times. I expect the effort to be a standard that's uh, accepted by all of us. So when you're not reaching that, it's my job to address it. So sometimes they may like the highlights and the praise, but sometimes they may not like it. And I'm perfectly fine with that because that's my job. Because if I ain't doing my job, my ass get fired. So. It's my job and my responsibility to make sure that I'm getting our guys to do what I expect them to do. Thoughts? I don't see nothing wrong. What? First of all, what does too intense mean in practice? Soft. People are soft. <laughs> Cry babies. Wet toilet paper. It's the generation we live in. Everybody want to be coddled and, and patted on the back for missing nine straight catches. No. If you messing up, <laughs> I'm going to tell you you messing up. And if you're doing good, I'm not even going to tell you that you're doing good because then you're going to come off the gas and you're going to start messing up. Coaches are supposed to make you the best version of yourself. And, and that's how it's supposed to be in, in, in every stage. Maybe not peewee because whatever. But high school, college, pros, the coach is supposed to bring out the best version of you because he needs to put the best version of whatever lineup he can on that field because at the end of the day, the job is to win. They brought him over there because they needed somebody to help contribute to winning. That's this is how you start that. This is how you start a winning culture. Don't I'm not I'm not gonna coddle you. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Next time, next play, next play. No, I need it on this play. When you get it on this play, show me again. Show me again. Show me again. So you can get into this mindset. You can get into this this habit that this is how. This is the brand of football that I want us to play, and I need you to play. And I, I can see that you can give me that brand of football. I'm trying to bring that out of you. Right. If I got to cuss at you because you're not getting it, if I got to yell at you because you're not getting it, that's my job. That's I'm not I, I'm I'm not here. This is not summer camp. This is this is football. This, this sound like this sound like the same approach Mike Singletary had when he when he got the coaching job at uh, San Francisco. It, sound, it sounds like that. And, and and what's real interesting is that since Eric enemy has been with the commanders, this is the most I've heard him talk ever. I don't think I ever heard uh, him talk this much when he was with Big Red in Kansas City. So I don't know if that's a good thing for the commanders and Ron Rivera, because it, it, I've heard him. I've heard Ron Rivera talk way less this year than Eric Bien. Eric is doing most of the talking. And, and he's getting most of the questions. Like, he's the most interesting dude there. So, at some point, it looked like Ron Rivera going to be out in Washington. And that might be the head coaching job that Eric oh, me get. The right one's on the wall the moment that they hire Eric B. And me. You think so? Bro, if, if anybody go look at the breakdown of that contract that B. And me got when he signed over there, he got some kind of almost like guarantees pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. At most coordinators, you'd be like, oh, he got this in his contract. So to me, that was almost a writing on the wall. And you got to add in the fact it's a new management team. 
Magic Johnson likes putting his name on things that wins. Yeah. And Eric B. Enemy, come on, we got it. This dude just left an organization that went to five straight AFC championship games, three Super Bowl appearances, and two rings to show that he was part of something winning. So yeah. why would you not take in his coaching? Because like, like Chris said, it's a culture change. When's the last time y'all heard of Washington doing anything worth of significance on the offensive side? Robert mm. Griffin. Yeah. So it, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It, you, you're talking about changing a losing mentality on the offensive side of the football that is it's necessary. If you guys having these goals of saying, hey, man, we're going to compete in the uh, NFC East. It ain't just the Cowboys and the Eagles. You know, we want to be a, a name in the, in the NFC, in the NFL. You need things like this. You can't just continue to, you know, keep going about the same things that you've been doing because that result has gotten you nothing. Yeah. You got to change the whole mentality of it. And I'm with Chris, man. You can't be so so stubborn and to take hard coaching and, and, and say, oh, man, it's too intense. No, nah, man, he's trying to change you the mental part because – the physical part is not an issue for these NFL players. Once you make it to the NFL, you at the cream of the crop of playing football in the world. Mm-hmm. You got to add the mental part of saying, all right, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to study harder. I'm going to make sure that I put in the work to get out what we desire as in championships and winning success. So I, I, I got no issue with it. And for the players, man, there's been a lot of players that came up to Eric B. Enemy's back because Jamal Charles, uh, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, all Daddy. these, guys. yeah, even Patrick Mahomes, and saying, "Hey, man, yeah, he might have uh, ruffled my feathers, but trust the process that he goes about. It works because his coaching style is he's going to give a hundred percent and more in the effort in coaching and trying to draw plays, get you in the right position. Reward him, reward him by being, you know." being that player that's going to take heed and, and apply it because Eric B enemy said something in that clip that you played that resonated the most with me. He said, if I don't get you to do your job, I'm out of my job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 since you said that, so he obviously is a couple of players is clashing mm-hmm. with his, his coaching style. Right. Um, if things don't go well for the uh, commanders this season, out of the three guys that that that's in that scenario, the guy or, or the, the players that have an issue with it, Eric Bieniemy as a uh, coordinator and Ryan Rivera as a head coach, which one do you think the commanders will be willing to part ways with that that soft player or that player that's complaining, the head coach or Eric Bieniemy? Ryan. <laughs> Eric not going anywhere, so you can take your pick of the other two. But yeah. Eric, Eric not going anywhere. It's is I think Ron probably got the shorter leash because depending on the players, it might be some rookies, it might be some second years. Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying? It just might be a talent that you're just not ready to come up off of yet. So they'll probably fall into like second in that list of who gets cut. But Ron, the writing been on the wall for, for him for a minute. Yeah. He 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 they might have hired his replacement. You never know. Yeah, yeah I think I can never this other things like <laughs> his replacement is his offensive coordinator. <laughs> change, change is uncomfortable, but it's it's good because if you're uncomfortable, that means you were comfortable with the losing. mindset that you was in before, which was losing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you and and Eric is trying to break them of that that mindset, like hey, and it might work out real good, man, because it's a good pairing. Well, you got Ron Rivera, who's uh, more, I, I don't know, uh, more of a player coach, you know, uh, so he might not be that huge voice in the locker room or, or, or around the field. And Eric enemy seems to be the, the guy who is the voice. And then you got Ron Rivera, who's a defensive specialist, and you got Eric enemy who's an offensive guy, you know. So that pairing might actually uh, work well. You never know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eric so, might save Ron's job if the season go well, yeah. honestly. Yeah, for sure. Here's a here's a, a a factor of this situation. If I'm the head coach, if I'm Ron Rivera, and you know, obviously, I don't have reports to, to you know back this statement up, and but it's just I'm not feeling like he's backing Eric Bieniemy up. 
Because my thing yeah, is, that's if, true. If, if you're the head coach, I'd, I'd have been like, okay, okay, he's too intense, but is he making you better? Yeah. I, I As a head, especially we've all played ball, whether football, basketball, baseball, whatever, you want your coach to have his coaches back because it's all comes together as a coaching tree where we're trying to get the best out of them. We want the success. Right. You, you got to have your coaches back in that instance because you can't, you can't have that division where it's, you know, almost, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go tell mom, dad, dad being so mean to us. Like that's yeah, yeah. almost what it feels like. like Ho- what well, hopefully they doing it on the field and in the locker room and in the facility. Ho- hopefully that, that message is clear. Mm-hmm. And hopefully they together on that. And and who knows? Maybe Eric told uh, Ron, "No, nah, I got it. I I I feel these questions of, of about this intensity. I answer those questions." And then, or, or, or maybe it's a little bit of good cop, bad cop. Maybe Eric being is so intense that you might need you might need uh, Ron Rivera to be the guy that hey, I can I can peel him back whenever I need to peel him back. I don't know, um, you know. Uh, but we'll we'll see, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they come out swinging and. Uh, you know, because that division is, uh, I mean, it's the Eagles, and then you know between the Cowboys and um, and uh, and 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 Redskins. Well, not Redskins, Giants. Cowboys, Commanders, <laughs> Gi- Giants. Giants can make a leap as well. So that I mean, I wouldn't say that division is wide open. I would say it's going to be very competitive, and there's only one clear cut team that uh, that you could fear, and that's the Eagles. But the the other three, they all could be fighting for that number two spot it's essentially the it's essentially the race for the wild card in that division but yeah it's still a playoff spot you know what i'm saying you can't melt it in that conference as a whole is wide open nfc is wide open yeah wide open you you can't you can't lax on you know hey man let's just be uh uh, you know competitive in our division If, if you're an nfc team you literally probably fear what philly san francisco Mm-hmm. And, and probably the list stops right there. Yeah, for me it stops right there because there's no other teams that have proven that. Hey, man, they can possibly take this crown of the NFC and make it to the Super Bowl. So, uh, you got an opportunity to to at least put your name in that conversation. So, yeah. Speaking of NFC, man, we doing 